President Ekufuadu enumerated the processes involved in re-education by the current generation of Africans. It involves policy for significant investments in education at all levels. It involves policy for the structural transformation of Africa's raw material producing and exporting economies into industrial value-adding economies that can trade in products in the global marketplace at the high end of the value chain. It involves policy that will draw a clear map for the political and economic integration of the continent to enable us maximize our potential and deal with the outside world on an equal footing. These are critical challenges, but ones we have to meet. If at long last, we are to exploit Africa's vast potential and enormous wealth for the benefit of our peoples, and not as has been the norm in our history, for the benefit of peoples outside our continent. He was confident of the possibility of achieving the Africa dreamt of by the forefathers and for which some paid the utmost sacrifice. I'm an incurable optimist and believe in our capacity to reach these goals. And in so doing, I'm comforted by the words again of Kwame Nkrumah when he said, and I quote, Africa could become one of the greatest forces for good in the world, built not on fear, envy, and suspicion, nor one at the expense of others, but founded on hope, trust, friendship, and directed to the good of all mankind. Samia Nkrumah reiterated Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's stance on the need for Africa to unite politically, socially, and economically. There are three things we must bear in mind. We must plan our economies together so no one is left behind and to make maximum use of the potential of this rich and vibrant and glorious continent. Number two, we must have a common defense strategy. Our security must be planned together. And in this way, we definitely, had we followed that route, we would not have had many foreign bases on our continent. And the third pillar of that unification was a unified foreign policy so that we unite on all aspects relating to every single issue in the whole world so that Africa can speak with one voice. Adele Kwesi, Machtube, reporting for Metro News.